Harbor is becoming dangerous as the Occupy Baltimore crowd grows restless. One woman tells Fox 45 News she was raped over the weekend and no one from the group ever tried to help her. Our cameras also caught evidence of drug use at their campsite. Melinda Roder is live with more on the story you're seeing first on Fox and the city's response. Hello, Melinda. Hello, Karen. Public safety has become a very big concern around here now that we are getting reports that members are becoming so rowdy that they are starting to even assault one another. One woman told me that she was raped while camping here, and now she wants city officials to break up the crowd like they've done in other cities. I don't know what he gave me. This woman who didn't want to be identified claims she was raped here in one of the tents Friday night. You can go to Mercy Hospital. They have a full rape kit. She says she was also robbed and now fears for her life. He took all of my bills, which has my address, my social, everything, everything, which means I can't go to my house because how am I supposed to be safe in my own house? Even worse, she says, no one from the Occupy group has been willing to help her identify and catch her attacker. Nobody knows no one's names. They don't know who's tens who's. They don't know who stays where. So m what really makes me mad is if this is supposed to be a good organization, it isn't. It's a crock. Some say the crowd is downright dangerous. Anybody can walk through here at 12, 1 o'clock at night and somebody snatched them up in a tent. Apparently it happened to her and nobody's seen or heard anything. Then you got security over here talking about they don't know who did what. They didn't know nothing was happening. They don't know nothing. So what kind of security is that? One man directed us to a tent where from the entrance our cameras caught evidence of drug use and paraphernalia. Nasal, needles, ties to tie off with. City police occasionally patrol the park, but don't go inside the tents. And although organizers say they want their voice to be heard, some choose to conceal their faces. The government wants us to do drugs. The government wants the drugs to be here. So we have an excuse to get arrested so they can build more prisons and tax more people and take more money. At one point, a crowd gathers around a tent where we're told a dispute has unfolded between a couple living here. But other campers are quick to jump in front of our camera, shoving and threatening. They say they'll handle it themselves and don't need the media or police. This is a personal dispute and people actively need to go through mediation. People are being assaulted, people are being raped. We understand that, but we have a security team that actively deals with these situations. Some campers say the group has discouraged victims from calling authorities. Occupied Baltimore has never published information that actively discourages participants here to report uh, situations to the police. Others worry the alleged crimes will detract from the message they want to spread, the reason they say they're here. We have an agenda. We want something done. We want jobs in our neighborhood. It, it concerns me when I feel like it might be creating a hostile environment, which is something we always have to address, and we are addressing. When these issues come up, we absolutely work to address them. They're concerns to us as well. Now, we told two patrol officers about the alleged assaults and the drug evidence that we saw in that tent. Both said that they had been told they can't break up the crowd until they get the go-ahead from their higher-ups. Now, we also called and reported this information to the, public, uh, the police public information officer, and no one ever called us back for comment on these crimes. Live from the Inner Harbor, Melinda Roeder, Fox 45 News at 10.